Hi, this is Dr. Akemi, and today I'm really excited to introduce to you my brand new program called The Elements of Life. Now, I am an acupuncture physician by training, and you've, if you've been exposed to anything like Ayurveda or have seen an acupuncturist, you have heard about element theory. So things like the five elements, right? Fire, earth, water, metal, wood. And we receive a lot of training in this. It's quite sophisticated, it's very fascinating, and it's very applicable to every aspect of our lives. But it's not really practical for the everyday person, especially my patients who tend to be, um, you know, you're sick in some way, you're exhausted, you're already overwhelmed with what's going on in your life. So. You don't need to learn five element theory. But what I have learned over the past, you know, 15, 16 years is that there are certain touchstones. There are certain things that we can do to help a person recover so that, you know, my mission isn't just to be uh, super hyper focused on the condition and the illness. I am not a fan of letting an illness define an individual. That is like the way to suck joy out of life. Okay. So my mission for you is to have a life that is, you have energy, you feel motivation, that overwhelm that hits you over, uh, the head is just, it calms down. Uh, the touchstones are a way for you to have tools at your disposal. They take practice. So I will be uh, over the next few weeks creating a series of posts and videos and meditations. In the future, we're even going to have a little academy to work together so that you can implement these touchstones. And whether you're a person that is on the quite ill end of the spectrum, that is somebody who is exhausted, who has a hard time functioning in an everyday life, or whether you are a person that has a relatively good health and you want to optimize your performance and just live your best life, these touchstones are going to help you. So what are they? Uh, you've already seen a bit of a preview in some of my other videos and posts. Uh, so the first thing I talk about is joyful movement. And joyful movement uh, is signified by, you know, it's not exercise, it's not serious. Um, it is an expression of joy, which is quite hard to do when you're not feeling well. So there are ways to do this. That's the first one. Uh, the second touchstone is refresh. And refresh is kind of like refreshing a tab on your internet browser. You know, sometimes we get overwhelmed in our mind and there's just too much information. Like sometimes I say, you know, there's too many tabs open in my head and it's just taking too much energy to keep everything straight. So the refresh touchstone is going to help you release that and just give your mind a break. The third touchstone is release. Now release, I'm sure you've seen about releasing and letting go. These are tangible ways in which we can let go of um, ideas, illnesses, habits, just things that are affecting you negatively. And it's not something that comes easily to us. So I will be giving you some tips and some tools and some step by steps on how to do that. I also want to encourage you to cultivate wonder. Okay, so wonder is that childlike quality of joy, that excitement. Um, it's, you know, something that we usually see in the movies and we lose it as we grow in life. But I have found that cultivating wonder does wonders for your health and vitality. So if you're exhausted and sick and running around, it's probably not something that's going to come easily to you. So I hope I can help you with that. Then I have a touchstone called root before you bloom. Okay. And that might not make sense yet, but essentially it's about taking a pause and not running forward to do things and do so much. We are very ambitious and motivated in general in our culture, and that has repercussions on our 
bodies, minds, and spirits. So with this rooting touchstone, I'm going to guide you and help you find your center and root so that your bloom is much prettier, okay? And then we are going to discuss maintaining tone. So maintaining tone is the touchstone of discipline, rigor, you know, being able to keep doing things, endurance, because one thing I notice with uh, patients or people who have been sick or tired is it's hard to maintain a routine. And sometimes we're able to do things for a few days or a few weeks and then we crash. So maintaining tone is an important way of overcoming that. Those are natural cycles that happen to anyone. So if you have a hard time maintaining discipline, we're going to help you maintain that tone so that you don't do too much and or just collapse and not do anything. And that is something that your body innately does. It's really important to maintain tone. That's what homeostasis is. So we're not just going to do it in our outside world. We're also going to help you do it inside. And then lastly, we have lean, not lean like, you know, thin, but lean like leaning, leaning back, letting go. And this one is a high level ability to just completely relax and lean into your life. Let life support you and a cultivating a sense of trust that your body is going to be there for you. That's hard when you've been sick for a while. And that's hard when it feels like the world is, you know, breaking down and, and it's hard to lean on anything. But this is a skill that I believe you can get, okay? So those are the elements of life. And I am so excited to share them with you. I am so excited to see how you blossom in your life. And I look forward to your comments and questions. Let me know what you're curious about, which touchstone you're most confused by, which one you wanna know more about next. Once again, I'm Dr. Akemi. I'll talk to you next time.